Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge 101. In today's video, we will be learning about the various causes through which the concrete deteriorates. So, let's get started. There are major four ways through which the concrete can deteriorate. They are first through chemical attack, second through physical means, third through mechanical elements, and fourth through construction defects. Let us study in brief about the chemical attack. Chemical attack can happen due to the presence of carbon dioxide, chlorides, or sulfates in concrete. It can also take place through alkali aggregate reaction. Let us study them one by one in brief. First, aggression by carbon dioxide or carbonation. Carbonation is a process through which the atmospheric carbon dioxide penetrates into the concrete through the pores present in it. It then reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium carbonate as shown. Here comes a question, how does the continuous penetration of carbon dioxide into the concrete takes place? The answer to this lies in the fact that the pH of pore water in hardened concrete is between 12.5 to 13.5. Due to this, a passive film is formed around the steel reinforcement which is called the covering and it protects the steel reinforcement from the attack of oxygen and water. However, when carbon dioxide penetrates into the concrete, this passive film is deteriorated due to the formation of acidic calcium carbonate and hence the steel bars are exposed for corrosion. Due to this, the deterioration of concrete structure takes place. Next, chloride attack. As we have already discussed, a passive film is there to protect the steel reinforcement bars. However, this passive film can also get deteriorated through chloride attack. Chloride enters in the concrete through cement, water, aggregates and even admixtures. Let us understand the mechanism of chloride attack. When a small part of the passive film gets deteriorated, a small pit is formed which is called the anode, while the other region of the passive film is called as the cathode. The anode gets filled with an electrolyte such as water. Ferrous ions are present in this electrolyte, while the electrons travel into the cathode region wherein they react with atmospheric oxygen and atmospheric moisture to form OH- ions. These OH- ions are further transported into the electrolyte wherein they react with ferrous ions to form ferrous hydroxide. These ferrous hydroxide form further oxidizes to form ferric oxide which is nothing but rust and hence the deterioration of the structure takes place. Third, sulfate attack. Sulfate attack is one of the major causes of concrete failure. Sulfates occur naturally in the environment, seawater, groundwater and soils. The mechanism of sulfate attack on concrete apparently involves two chemical reactions. The very first chemical reaction is the combination of sulfate ions with calcium ions to form gypsum. In the second chemical reaction, the combination of sulfate ions with tricalcium aluminate takes place. This results in the formation of calcium sulfoaluminate. The reaction products that is gypsum and calcium sulfoaluminate have greater volume than the compounds they replace. The increase in volume due to gypsum has been reported to be more than double the original volume and that due to calcium sulfoaluminate to be more than triple the original volume. This expansion causes cracking of the matrix which leads to loss in strength and disruption. This is a structure which has been deteriorated due to the sulfate attack. Fourth, Alkali aggregate reaction. In this reaction, the alkali elements present in the cement react with the siliceous material present in the aggregates to form a gel-like substance. This gel-like substance further expands due to which cracking in concrete takes place and hence this type of pattern is formed on the concrete structures. Now let us move on to some physical deterioration process. The first one is freezing and thawing effect. It is a very well known fact that fresh concrete should not be subjected to freezing temperature. 
Fresh concrete contains a considerable quantity of free water. If this free water is subjected to freezing temperature, discrete ice lenses are formed. Water expands about 9% in volume during freezing. The formation of ice lenses formed in the body of fresh concrete disrupt the fresh concrete causing nearly permanent damage to concrete. The fresh concrete once subjected to frost oxygen will not recover the structural integrity if later on allowed to harden at a temperature higher than the freezing temperature. The fully hardened concrete is also vulnerable to frost damage, particularly to the effect of alternate cycles of freezing and thawing. The loss of surface portion of concrete which can be seen here is called as scaling this takes place due to the freezing and thawing action. Second one, concrete subjected to high temperature. When a concrete is subjected to high temperature, it can withstand temperatures of about 60 degrees Celsius. However, if the temperature is further increased, the concrete around the reinforcement breaks. If the heat is allowed to propagate further, it propagates quickly and a time comes where the reinforcement bars get deteriorated due to high temperature and hence the deterioration of concrete takes place. Now let us move on to some mechanical deterioration methods. The mechanical deterioration methods include three methods abrasion, erosion and cavitation. Abrasion refers to the very action of the surface by friction. Erosion refers to the same varying action by flames. The cavitation refers to the damage due to non linear flow of water at velocities more than 12 meters per second. Cavitation takes place nearly at the spillways of dams. Abrasion takes place on the terrace surfaces while erosion takes place on the structures which are built near the rivers. Now, let us move on to the deterioration of concrete through construction defects. First one is improper consolidation. Consolidation is a process of removing and trapped air from freshly prepared concrete. Vibrators are used for this purpose. However, if the entrapped airs are not removed properly, it leaves hole in the concrete due to this perk holes and honeycombs are formed in the structure. The further construction defects are improper placing of reinforcement, movement of formwork, improper finishing and improper curing. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video, share it as much as possible and subscribe to our channel Knowledge101. Stay tuned for other videos on building services and repairs. Thank you.